Good morning, it is C-section day. I am so excited and nervous. Um, it is about 4.20 in the morning. We are just waiting for Adam's mom to get here uh, so we can help her unload everything. She is staying with the girls at our house um, for the next couple of days while we're in the hospital. And yeah, so we're just waiting on her to get here. I slept about two hours last night, so that's better than nothing. Uh, with my second daughter, I didn't sleep at all. So two hours is better than nothing, I suppose, even though I feel really tired uh, right now. Um, I'm hoping that I get more energy as we start moving. Um, I'm a little bit shaky. I think I'm just nervous. Um, both Adam and I have allergies right now, so we're both like stuffed up and our throats are really sore. Um, so that's not the best timing for that, but we will make it through. So I'm going to show you guys what I have packed. Um, we packed nice and light this year. I'm very proud. So I'll show you guys what we have packed, and then we will get Adam's mom all situated, and then we will be headed to the hospital. I'm so excited. Here is a last little bump date. She got big in the last like week or so, so. This is everything we are bringing. So this is Adam's bag. I got my boppy for breastfeeding, um, a camera bag with all of my camera stuff in it. And then this bag has me and the baby stuff in it. This is nice and light. And I think it'll be the perfect amount because you don't really need much when you go have a baby anyway. That's it. <laughs> oh wow, we're, we're super light packers this time. Yeah, just a bag for Adam, a bag for me and the baby, my blanket and my boppy. I have my camera bag and my purse and that's it. Become pro professionals by baby number three. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Adam is walking back to the car to lock it because I'm pretty sure I just walked away from the car without locking it. <laughs> it's locked now? Thank you. Hey, I have a C-section scheduled for 7.30 and I was told to be here at 5.30. You can come in. Okay, thank you. Uh, oh, do we not have a bathroom? It's right there. Oh, it's right there. That was confusing to me. We're in our room. Okay, so this was kind of funny because we went up to the desk and they were literally like, oh, room seven down there. <laughs> they didn't even like walk us here. They just kind of told us where to go, which was so funny to me. I don't know why. Yeah, Adam's in the bathroom and we're just kind of waiting for the nurse to come in. I'm sure they'll do all the paperwork and the IV and all that good stuff. And it's kind of a lot of sitting around at first. Um, I don't feel as like nervous and nauseous as I did with my second, so that's good. I think I'm just anxious to meet her this time. And not that I wasn't anxious to meet um, Ayla, but I feel like with this baby, since she's our rainbow baby, I feel like I'm just like more relieved to meet her rather than like being scared, if that makes sense. I'm more relieved that the day's here, so. I'm gonna grab a couple puke bags just in case I decide to throw up this morning. <coughs> Although I don't really feel that nauseous yet. Our room is freezing. Yeah, it is. <gasps> <laughs> 
Okay, so I just got my IV in. I've taken all my medication. I have my puke bag because I know it's going to happen at some point. Uh, we're just monitoring baby and they are in the other room getting the operating room ready. And But yeah, I think we're pretty close to delivery here. What would you say, like half hour? Yeah, or less. Or less. How do you feel, Adam? Great. <laughs> you get the easy part. So, I'm getting really anxious. Clearly, I've been scratching like crazy. <sighs> Coming off these meds is making my skin really itchy. But look how precious she is. She's so sweet. I'm cracking up in my chest right now. <laughs> look at my chest. Yeah, I've scratch been scratching, <laughs> but everything went really well. Um, she, it's about two thirty, so she's been born for a few hours now. But I was really, really nauseous coming off of the medication, and really sleepy, and I'm still super sleepy, but. She's adorable. She has been nursing really well. Every couple of hours I latch her on both sides and she's been actually swallowing. So I think she might be getting a little bit of colostrum each time, which is great. But we are just soaking in all the snuggles. Adam had some lunch. I had a couple of snacks. Um, and my mom is going to come down in a couple of hours after she gets out of work to do some snuggling and I think that's when I'm going to like take a nice long nap while my mom's here but there she is so cute Aww. yeah and so snuggly Good morning, it is the next day. Uh, last night was rough. Um, she pretty much just cluster fed back and forth all night long uh, with like no breaks. So I am having some breakfast right now. Adam's walking around with her. And then she's probably gonna wanna eat again, but you can tell I am so tired. I can like barely hold my eyes open, but her pediatrician already came in. Um, we're just waiting for the lab work to come and do like her pokes on her heels and all of that. And then, um, well, let me turn this down because I feel like it's like too loud. There we go. Um, we're just waiting on pediatrician, or no, we're waiting on labs to come in to do all the lab work on her, but my doctor came in, cleared me to go, said she was going to do all my discharge paperwork. Um, pediatrician said as long as her jaundice test comes back negative, then she is ready to go home. So I think we're just going to try to get out of here as soon as we can because I'm exhausted and I want to be able to put her in the swing. I look so tired. I want to be able to put her in the swing and take a nap, but I'm hoping my milk comes in soon because I think that would make her a happy girl too.
<laughs> she just passed her hearing test. <laughs> Neely and Ayla did not pass their hearing test. I had to go to the clinic. Uh oh, Dada. She's going to be held. <sighs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, she just went through a whole ton of stuff. She got all her newborn screening done, her hearing test, she got her pokes, her jaundice test, everything came back good. So I think they are working on discharge stuff now, uh, which is awesome because it's only 9.30 in the morning. Um, Adam's got most of the room packed back up, so I'm going to get up and use the restroom and put on my pants because I still just have my cute underwear, <laughs> hospital underwear on. Um, and then we are going to head home and see our other two rugrats. And Melee is going to be so excited to see her baby sissy. I'm excited to take a nice warm shower and put Adeline in her mamaru because I think she's going to love it. And then hopefully I can get in a nap because I am so tired. But that is probably it for the hospital. We're just going to pack up and then head home to see our girls.